so probably like 2010, 2011, where well, I believe Conrad's first song, Conrad's first song, which I think, I don't remember, this might have been his first time he got on there and went crazy. I'm gonna play it right quick, just so you can uh, know what I'm talking about. This motherfucker went crazy, bro. It's that biggie. It's that biggie, uh, that one, the, um, that shit called Juicy. Got chest push my necklace out, I'm turned up, so ain't no question what that is about. In the glove, got your hoe on the sex it out. <laughs> yeah, in the swag, so immaculate the way I walk with you. Conrad, talent to the motherfucker. So let's get to it, though. Like I said, probably like 2000. Let him, I don't know. Shit, that's a long time ago. He first made the song. Anyway, I'm fucking with Draws. We shoot out to Vegas. We at Molly Mall House. Rick Ross pull up. Rick Ross is doing a song with, might have been, maybe you or, I already don't remember. He was doing a song for somebody. And we had played this song. <laughs> it's on the middle of their whole little like session. They like, man, play that shit again. So we played, back then the phones was like the, uh, plug it straight into the little speaker. Plugged it up. In the middle of their session though, everybody in there, they're like, this thing going crazy. Woo, 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 woo. Rick Ross like, who was that? That's the homie, cuz. That's Conrad, Conrad from there. Conrad, number four, being on the level four, still on the block, nigga selling soap. <laughs> that nigga hard, that shit was hard as a motherfucker. But they all heard his shit. The more the story is of how important it is to have people on your team who really believe in you and how they act when they're not in your presence. What I mean is that, you know, Conrad never knew this story. I never told him about this story. So when he see this, he's like, damn, that's crazy. I'm supporting him, you know? I'm trying to do whatever he need at this time because I really was a fan of when I heard that song, when I heard his music, I'm like, oh yeah, cut, go, cut, go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Cut, 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 go make it. I end up getting some millions anyway out this shit, but just telling your story so people who you with or people who know you may be around certain people and one, they won't even bring you up. Or they might speak bad on you. And it's really a blessing, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta cherish people who speak highly of you when you're not in their presence, you know what I'm saying? That shit go a long way. You know? So I was really putting his name out there, you know what I'm saying? He didn't even know about it and to good people and people in higher places, you know what I'm saying? That's because that, that was my nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's still the homie, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, nigga really want to see him make it, so yeah. So I'm just telling y'all, some people say you good as your team. If you got a good team and everybody on one motherfucking accord, got one vision, you can't lose, huh? You know what I'm saying? X-Fo, so X-Fo got 10 and 20 niggas around him and all of us on one page. Our one goal is, cuz gotta make it. By any means necessary, he can't lose. I got that from uh, growing up. My favorite college, my, my favorite NFL team was Dallas Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? I played for the Cowboys, Van Ness Park, you know, and I was just a fan of every since, right? And, uh, you know, Cowboys won a Super Bowl, you know, back to back, Jimmy Johnson. And he was saying that we won the Super Bowls, we made sure that the whole 52 man roster. Our one goal was to win a Super Bowl, but I didn't mean that's it. We was all on one page. And that's how you gotta be. Everybody gotta be on one page. Motherfuckers can't be jealous. Motherfuckers can't be in competition. You know, and it seemed like everything I get into, I'm not in that. What I mean by that is, if I'm fucking with music and rappers, I'm not a rapper. So I'm not about to be with Rick Ross and Molly Maul. And like, listen, bro, I got this song. You know, you can listen to my shit, bro. I'm woo woo I'm hot. Nah, nigga, I'ma push the homie shit like it's my shit. Y'all see anybody I fuck with, I push that shit like it's my shit. All the way, and that's where it gotta be. I want everybody to make it. Anybody I fuck with, you got all my resources, nigga. We gonna go to the top. And I'm gonna make sure I do everything I can so nigga can't never say, he wasn't really like, you know, he could have told them or he could have said my name, you know, he was on the platform and, you know, man, he would just say my name. You never know how it took, <laughs> it could have took flight. So, y'all keep that shit in mind. Yeah, shout out Conrad number four, Ben on the level four. <laughs> Make book.